Alrighty, greetings and welcome. Welcome back to another wristwatch video on my channel. And as you can see by the title today, we are going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you how to check if your watch has a sapphire or a mineral crystal with and without using any tools. For this video, I will be using my San Martin Vintage Diver, which has sapphire crystal and the Seiko 5 SNK 809, which has a, well, it's a hard lex. It's not a mineral crystal technically. Uh, however, mineral and hard lex crystal are kind of similar, so it will do its job for the video. Uh, but before you do that, wristwatch check, what am I wearing today? Today I am wearing my Stova Marine Classic 40 watch. This is a lovely little German, uh, well, I would say dress watch from uh, the Stova company. And I already made a review of this watch, link in the description if you're interested in it. So. Uh, what is the main difference between a sapphire and a mineral crystal? It is the scratch resistance essentially. So sapphire crystal watches have a lot higher of scratch resistance than watches with mineral crystal. Uh, however, this is not to say that sapphire crystal is ultimately the better crystal because for example, the uh, mineral crystal is a lot more shatterproof than the sapphire crystal. So both have their pros and cons. However, because of the scratch resistance in the modern world, modern uh, watch world at least, uh, people prefer sapphire crystal on their watch. So how do you check if it has sapphire crystal without a tool? Well, believe it or not, the only thing you're gonna need is water. So essentially you're gonna need some water. I put it in this syringe and all you have to do is put a drop of water on the crystal and see how it reacts with the crystal. So because of the different molecular structure of the crystals, uh, the water on the sapphire crystal will kind of, um, well, the drop of water will kind of keep its shape while the drop of water on the mineral crystal will lose its shape. It will spill over the crystal. So let's demonstrate here real quickly. So let's put a drop of water on the St. Martin first with the sapphire crystal. And as you can see, the water droplet is basically keeping its shape. So no real changes. However, on the Seiko 5, if we were to put the same drop of water, see it has actually spilled a bit more on the uh, crystal. So if you can compare it here, see it's more or less the same shape. Well, here it has spilled. And that's uh, literally it, that is the way you check if the watch has sapphire or mineral crystal. I mean, it's very simple, but very effective. There is also one more way to check. However, that is not necessarily uh, always um, the case. So for example, the sapphire crystal is a bit colder than the mineral crystal. So you can um, put the watch next to your on your forehead. And if it's colder, then it should be sapphire. However, you would have to have a mineral crystal watch with you to compare the actual temperature of it. And sometimes, for example, when I wear my um, little uh, Omega dress watch, uh, it doesn't feel cold at all, even though it has sapphire crystals. So that's not always the rule. So this is a sure way to check. So again, let's just take a look real quickly. Look at how the water drop looks on the Seiko 5 and look how it looks on the St. Martin. And that's it for the way to check it without the tool. Now I will just wipe the water off this and I will show you how to do it with a tool. Okay, so the water is now off the watches. And uh, what tool will we use to check if the watch has sapphire crystal? Well, if you've watched any of my wristwatch reviews, you will see that I always use the Diamond Selector 2 tool. Uh, essentially, if the rectangles on this become yellow, then it means that it is a sapphire crystal. So this is a tool a lot of jewelers use to check if there are real diamonds on the jewelry. However, it can also be used for the sapphire crystal as well. So for example, if we, put the Diamond Selector 2 tool on the Seiko 5, you can see that there is literally nothing, no reading at all. So nothing. But if we take it on the San Martin, put it on, whoop, 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 and you can see the yellow rectangles appearing, which means that it is in fact Sapphire Crystal. Uh, it's a very simple method with the Diamond Selector 2 tool. You can also use this on jewelry, as I said. I even realized that some of the uh, jewelry, uh, my, um, family has is fake diamonds. So if you're ever, if you've ever been curious, you should buy this tool. So I will leave a link in the description below for this Diamond Selector 2 tool. It is an affiliate link. Uh, so I will get a very, very small commission which will help, which will help my channel out. However, it doesn't really change the price for you. 
Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So those are the two ways you can check. Well, the third way is to put it on your forehead, but again, I don't think that's a very good method. I think the water test is a lot easier and a lot more precise. Uh, and of course the diamond selector 2 method is always precise so that's pretty much it so if you liked the video as always leave a thumbs up if you dislike the video leave a thumbs down and maybe give me some suggestions on how i can improve my content subscribe if you want to see more fragrance or wristwatch related videos and until next time guys have a great day and bye